Well, hello everybody. It's Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. <clears throat> Hope you're having a great day. We, <coughs> excuse me, are going to take a look at a 1960s Smith Corona Coronet Automatic 12. We've painted this one in chalk paint, which is really cool because if you have chalk, you can, um, even, even the chalk pens or regular chalk, you can draw and you can make this what you want and then erase it and do it again, depending on your mood. That's the best kind of decorating if you ask me in that way. They don't say, somebody doesn't say, why do you always change everything? This way you can change, you have full permission to change everything. All right, that's what it looks like. This is fully automatic, so it's electric with a power return. There's no return handle, though I bet you during this video, you will see my hand do this as I swipe to look for a handle, because I do that every time. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Um, let's start from the back and work our way forward, and then I will do a typing test on this. Sorry for the slow moving start on this. I am drowsy today. I need a nap. Okay. Paper holder. Voila. Margins press and drag. There you go. This is your uh, line selector. So when you hit that return handle, it's going to advance either one, two, or three lines, depending on where you set it. On this side, this little doohickey releases the tension on your paper so that if you load it and it's crooked you can fix it okay carriage release is right here on the right side the left side is broken so you just pull that forward and do that and by all means i mean the little stub is there so if you want to make your own little handle and put it on there go for it some people use like pen, the hollow parts of ballpoint pens or whatever, whatever you want to do. But this side works fine. I honestly never use the left side, but so be it. Um, okay, we're going to open up the top and inside you will see a universal ribbon. Ta-da, we put new ribbons on all of our typewriters. So when you do, it is time to replace, you just pull it out pop a new one in, make sure black is on top, red is on bottom, and that it is threaded properly through all these little guides. And to make sure you do that, I've taken a photo of this and it's on um, the listing. So if you click the link in the description below, it'll take you to the listing and you can view the photos and you can bookmark the photo so you know how to thread your ribbon. Okay. So when you get to the end of the spool, the typewriter's just gonna lock up on you and you're gonna think, ah, oh, something's wrong. There's nothing wrong with your typewriter. You just need to reverse the direction of your ribbon and you do that right here. Rib, rev, ribbon reversal. And you should be able to reverse the direction of that ribbon dozens and dozens of times before you need to replace that ribbon. So just remember, this is so important. Anytime it starts feeling a little stiff or it just stops on you or you're typing and it's like there's, you can't even see the letters, stop, reverse the direction of the ribbon. I guarantee you it is probably going to correct it nine times out of 10. Okay. When you want to tab, you press that middle button. Clear is here. Set is here. Power. No, sorry. Color selector. Power switch. So red or black, margin release. This is so that when you get, I'll show, never mind, I'll show you here in a second. I'm getting ahead of myself. Backspace coffee set, you'll never need it really. All it does is determine how hard those bars are gonna strike your paper, which determines how light or dark your font is. But I really never even see much of a difference when I use this. I mean, you can play around with it and see if you can notice a difference, but I don't. Okay, let's turn this baby on. Alrighty there, and then let's put in a piece of paper and do some typing. Because that's what we love to do, is we love to type. Type, type, type. Okay, 
Oh, by the way, this is a 12 inch carriage, which means you can put your paper in landscape or portrait, or you can use 11 by 14 paper or any other paper. It's a great size for any of you that are also crafters because it gives you some flexibility. All right, I bring it all the way up to make sure it's even. It's just a little bit off. I mean, it's pretty darn close, but I'm gonna pull this paper release forward. Try to line it up better. Release it. And I'm gonna bring this up. Let's do some typing. I'm gonna check these margins again. Okay, ta-da, let's do. So this is a 1960s. Corona, Corona, automatic, 12. How to return. And I like this because some typewriters with power returns are really obnoxious. This one is actually quite pleasant. It's not loud and it doesn't jolt your table like um, a lot of them do. So I like that for sure. Somebody has set a lot of tabs on this. Okay. Let's do the uppercase symbols. putting my hand here because I'm actually thinking I'm gonna do this so I'm covering up the fact that my hand wants to hit the return handle oh by the way if you want to space quickly you just hold your space bar down so you hit here space holding space bar down does this speed spacing <laughs> that sounds, sounds kind of cool okay I think I need a vacation. Everything's blending together in my mind. Okay, there's three keys that have an auto repeat. Three. And they are dash, X, and three. Woohoo! Those look great. Okay, let's do some sentences. Do it in all caps. Let's do red. There's the bell, which means it's gonna stop on me. There it is. So, Let's say you want to finish a word or something like that. You just hit MR. That releases it. And you can keep typing if you want. Or just hit return. longer projects but um for I'm really picky about what typewriters I recommend for like book writing longer projects so um this one doesn't this one's a good typewriter it's solid doesn't quite make that grade where I would recommend it for book writing but you can use it it's just I think there's better options is all I'm saying otherwise Oops, two at once. Um, someone is going to love this for Christmas morning. Okay, 
one other thing you noticed um, with the power returns, most type writers do this anyway whenever you hit manual returns, but even power returns, it slowly inches like this. So <clears throat> we are getting, they're on order. They'll be here in the new year. Um, but typewriter pads help tremendously with uh, sound and protecting your table. But now we're getting typewriter pads that have an anti-slip sticky thingy on the bottom. So it'll keep your typewriter from But until then, you may want to put it on a non-slick surface. This happens to be very slick and smooth. So um, that's why it moves around easily. Okay, thanks for watching. You all have a great day. Bye.